Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, 2001 Ford Escort SE has the two liter in it. And what we're gonna be doing is a transmission filter kit, a gasket, and then a drain and refill. But from what I saw, there was a deep and shallow pan. I don't know if there's a difference cause whenever I ordered the part, it only gave me one option. So it may just be one pan. Uh, if anybody's watching this knows if there is a deep and shallow pan, uh, kind of let us know in the comment section if I'll look it up more to see if I can find out if there is But if I don't find anything there won't be anything and I'll notify that in the uh, Description, but to do this should have 19 bolts on the pan and we're just going to drain the fluid through the filter area and There is a drain plug right here, but I'm not gonna worry about that I will spray all this off because you can tell it has been leaking pretty good and it looks like some fluid and stuff has come down from the top as well. But I think service data actually says to remove this right here. Um, you can get this off without removing it. Uh, you may have to use a wrench or a shallow uh, quarter inch. Uh, let's get y'all a little bit more light. But right here with this crossbar, you can get a wrench in there and take it off if you need to. I'm going to try to do it that way. It's just a little bit less work to do it without taking this crossbar off. But like I said, we're going to drain it through the pan. And we ain't going to worry about the drain plug. It is a, I think it's a 10 millimeter Allen socket. If anybody's interested. And then the 19 bolts are 10 millimeters. So let me set y'all up where y'all can watch this. And then I'm going to... Grab my tools and we'll zip this off and change it out real quick. Hopefully this is a quick and easy video and just kind of show everybody the part numbers and how much fluid and everything it takes. Like I said, these are 10 millimeters. They shouldn't be all that tight. I'm gonna leave one in the front and one in the rear for the time being. Yeah, ain't none of these tight at all. So we're going to leave one in front, one in the rear. Let's set them in there. It's got a screen in there, so I ain't got to worry about them falling. Set them on the floor. Any of that good stuff. Like hardly any of these even tight. Come on. The new kit does come with a neoprene gasket. And the hardest one to get to is gonna be these two right here on the back corner or front corner, whichever way you're looking at it. But I'm gonna use a um, swivel to get to this one right here and then I'm gonna use a wrench to get to this corner one. See if I can get in here. Now I'm going to get my 10 millimeter and try to get this corner one out there. Like I said, these aren't tight at all. So I don't know if last person who did it just didn't tighten them up or what. And of course I didn't bring my ratchet wrenches with me because I'm not at my shop at the used car lot. Now I'm going to use a ratchet to take these two off real easy. I 
ahead and take this back one out. Now I may have to scooch all back a little bit just so that I can get the drain pan. Alright. Just wanted to make sure I got enough room for my drain pan. And I don't want to splash my camera or my GoPro. I'm not sure how this will go. Open it a clear. member out which kind of sucks so take this cross member out there's two bolts on the front two right here that holds the transmission mount there's two nuts right there then it looks like it looks like two back here and then there's one right there so we may have to take this crossbar right here and that out just to do this let me get some tools and see what it takes. So it looks like most of these are 17. The mount bolts right here are 14. So you just need to take the mount loose and then this front portion right here and then you should be able to take it all out. Your filter is actually right here. Looks like there should be a few 10 millimeters that hold it in as well. And this is your pan right here. It does have some magnets in it. Take this tin out. This over a little bit. I know it's going to drip on the floor, but I need to get my ratchet in there. One bolt. should be it. Oh, oh. One more over here. Remember, whenever you take this filter out, it is going to have some fluid in it. And the back one is a short bolt. Right. 
The new one comes with the O-ring as well. Make sure you put that on. Get this back up in here. Should be good. These two long ones and go ahead and get them started. Alright, so I forgot to bring my torque wrench, so we're just gonna tighten them up. Shouldn't be a problem on this. And wipe off this surface right here. Make sure there's no junk on it. Get that. Now I'm going to clean the pan real quick, clean the magnets, and get all the old gasket material off, and then I'll bring y'all back. We got the pan clean, got the gasket on, we stuck all the bolts in the gasket, and it holds it in pretty good. So, see if we can get this to go in. There we go. And I'm just going to start a couple of them. Okay, I'm going to go around and just tighten them all up real quick and get this uh, corner one right here in with the wrench. And these right here are supposed to torque to, I think it was like 120 inch pounds or 100, no, it was 109 inch pounds. That's what it was, sorry. Thing about a couple different variables, but they torque to like 109 inch pounds. Um, if you want to, just go around them, tighten them till they all just like seat in, and then I go about another half to full turn, and you should be fine. All right, so we got the pan on with the gasket. Uh, here's the kit that we got from Napa. This is a Napa Napa Automotive parts. Uh, where's the part number? My part number is right there, 1-8528 filter kit. And your dipstick is right here. It says it takes four quarts when you drain it and fill it with the filter. So, have a gallon of Valvoline Dex Merfron. And it says do not mix it with anything higher than four is what I saw on my pro demand. Yeah, you had to pour this slow. Let me let this all go down. Once I get it in there, I'll crank it up and we'll check the fluid and I need to let it get up to the running temperature as well. All right, we've got it running and it's up to about temperature now. I'll check the fluid one more time. well y'all can see that it is right about there it's a little higher than that last mark but that shouldn't be an issue like i said it called for like 3.9 quarts i put four in there so that's probably where that come from but i think we are all good on that now so if y'all enjoyed the video Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. And if I left out anything, please hit me up in the comment section. I'll correct it or if you got anything you want to say about it. Um, like I said, if I did anything wrong, please let me know. I'll make sure I correct it in the comment section. But y'all remember, torque this tight 
and y'all have a great day.